I have a Smith Corona Coronet Automatic 10 for you today. And um, I believe this is the original color. It's a gray. Um, and it's actually very pretty, almost like a light, maybe it's a light blue. It's that really, it's a gray blue. And um, it's gorgeous. Love it. And um, normally they're like brown or metallic blue. Um, but this is a very lovely color combination. I, at first I thought my husband had repainted it because we do like this color when we paint it. But I can tell just by, you know, opening it up and looking in here, it is the original color. And um, so that's... That's really awesome, it's beautiful. Okay, this is a tutorial video. I have a tutorial video out there for the Automatic 12, and it's the same typewriter, just this has a 10 inch carriage, the other one has a 12 inch carriage, but I'm gonna do another one for you anyway. And this is what the front looks like, it's from 1970s, okay? And let's go ahead, we'll start with the back here. Here's your paper holder. Here's your margins, all right, paper guide. You've got your paper release, and I'll show you that here in a second. And then also to move your carriage, you have a lever, and usually yours probably has one on this side as well. Um, it's very common for these to break off, so we've seen people tape like uh, pen barrels on here and stuff like that. Um, but it doesn't matter. You just need one side and you move the carriage like this. Okay. Here's your handle to for the roller. And if you hear it clicking, it clicks every half of a line. And sometimes you want it to do something a little bit different. And so you there's this black button on the left side. You just press that while you're turning. That releases that roller so it's kind of like free to just um, align the way you want. And then when you let go, it goes back to the every half of a line. This is fully automatic, so it does need to be plugged in, sorry, plugged into the wall. And it has a power return. There's no return handle here. And if you're used to a return handle, the first few times you type on a fully automatic, you keep, you keep putting your hand up there to swipe it. Uh, but it's not there. Okay, let's open up the top inside. You're going to see the um, ribbon, your type bars. It uses a universal ribbon. You can get that on our website. The link is below. Um, and they're actually very easy to find. You can find them in multiple colors as well. When you do load it, black is on top, red is on the bottom. You just pull them out. Super simple. Pop them back in. I recommend... Uh, clicking on the product listing link that's in the description below and looking at the photos and there's an up close one of this area I would bookmark that or save it that way you know how to rethread it make sure your ribbon goes through the guide wires here and then look at that photo up close to see how you need to thread it through this main area and you're gonna your hands are gonna get dirty but you're gonna have to wiggle through and there's little slits in these metal pieces in the back and sometimes they're on top like this the slits are at, on the top and you're going to have to um you know jimmy them down but then there's i think there's also a slit in the back i'm not going to take this off it's a very messy process and it'll take you several minutes so be patient with yourself and don't get frustrated or try not to get frustrated and um you'll get it all right okay let's close this i have got very messy hands now and um i just don't want to nice thing is is it cleans off easy um <laughs> and that's why i bought this this is like a piece of formica that i use and it just wipes off and it does wipe if you get it on your typewriter it wipes off on your typewriter very easy as well okay so let's go down here to the keyboard before i do that i'll show you where the serial number is it's right here where my thumb is Okay, and then you can go to typewriterdatabase.com and look up 
information. Um, and actually the Smith Corona 60s and 70s, there's just really no information on it. You just get to know, you start to get to know the front plates and whether it's from a 60s or 70s. Okay, so you turn it on. This is your power switch. On these electrics, I always let it run for about 15 seconds just to get the mode, everything to engage. Um, your motor is right here. Okay, do you hear that rub that sound? That's rubbing against this piece right here. Sometimes you will hear that when this is closed and that means that somehow either in transportation or if you've picked it up and you've kind of pushed inadvertently um, the cover over, it'll start to rub against that metal piece. So if you hear a grinding noise, that means that motor is rubbing against the cover and um, the way that you take care of that is gently with your hands, you open it up and take your, I just take my palm and I gently, I just kind of press just a, t a little bit, close it and make sure it's not grinding anymore. If it's still grinding, I just repeat until, but please do it gently because you don't want to bend it and totally ruin your cover. But I'm just giving you a heads up. That is also a common thing. Sometimes they get press the cover gets pressed over this way and you gotta push it back this way okay let's load a piece of paper so you just set your paper there you don't have to push it down in there you just turn the handle and um, that's how you load it if it's crooked then you bring the um, paper release level forward and then you can adjust it, re-engage it before you keep going. The paper needs to be underneath this metal bar for it to um, type properly. And then also you have tabs down here. So um, tab, if you hit clear, that should clear the tab to set. You hit set and that's how you set it. Also, when you hit your return button, it's gonna advance one, two, or three lines, and this is your line selector right here. So you can decide how you want that to go. Also, um, color selector, I showed you the ribbon, so it's gonna type either with the black or the red. You have your ribbon reversal on this side, and you're gonna need that because when you get to the end of the spool, you need to reverse it and go back this way because there's a lot of ink in that ribbon and you need it to go back and forth lots and lots of times before you change it. And this is the manual reversal. Some um, ribbons will reverse on their own. This is copy set. That just determines how hard your type bars strike the paper. Um, you have your shift, your shift lock, and to undo the shift lock, you either just hit the shift again. You have your backspace. Oops. Backspace doesn't erase, it just, when you make a mistake, you just backspace and type over it or X through it. And then your margin release. So there's your bell. The bell um, lets you know you're getting real close to your margin. And um, the way this works is, there's the bell. So now it's just gonna stop on me. It's not gonna let me go any further because that's where I've set my margin. But if you're in the middle of a thought or a word, you can hit this MR and you can keep going. But when that bell goes off, you should just hit your return handle. I mean, your return. That's how that works. Okay, so that is the Smith Corona Automatic or Coronet Automatic 10. Very nice typewriter. We hope you enjoy yours and that this was helpful. And so thanks so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy typing. Bye.